Good morning. I can't speak too loud. It's super early here. Everybody's sleeping. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gio and I'm on a mission to visit and review as many camp spots and surf breaks as I can here in Australia. So today I'm here at beautiful Bendalong and I am about to go for a walk. As you can probably guess, I'm making a coffee. I think it's around it's 10 past 6 a.m. in the morning now, nice and early. The sun is supposed to come out today, finally. And I'm about to go for a walk in a few minutes with my coffee and I'm going to take you for a walk with me and tell a little bit more of uh, what I've been up to. Can I just take a second to say how cool the kangaroos are? I think they're pretty cool. And in this camp spot, they're hopping around everywhere especially in the morning they're really close to the tent and yeah they are, I think they are a big part of the experience in this camp spot too it's pretty cool so just got down to the beach with my best friend Mr. Coffee himself and I've been here for three days Today is Monday, I've been here since Friday waiting for the weather to get better. So as you could and can probably see, the weather hasn't still gotten any better, but there is a promise that today the sun is going to come out. But just before I move on, look at the situation when I got here on Friday. How nice would it be to be inside that tent? What did you think? Perfect weather for camping, isn't it? But to be honest with you, I think I managed to keep it positive. I found a few interesting things to do around here. Well, even with cloudy weather and no sun, welcome to Holiday Haven. So as I said, I have been here for three days and I have been enjoying myself, I cannot complain at all. But instead of telling you what I've been up to, let me show you. You know what time it is. Miso soup. Pandaroo is the deal. Pandaroo. Miso soup. The best in the business. Hot.
Not bad, huh? I told you. I've been having a lot of fun actually, it's been pretty nice. So today I'm here in Bandalong and I'm going to show you in today's video the Bandalong Holiday Haven. And this is a holiday park and before we even start, quick disclaimer. This is not a campground, this is a holiday park. And what's the difference, you may ask? Well, essentially a holiday park would have way more luxurious facilities than a camp spot. They don't only have campsites, they also have cabins that you can stay at. So one thing that I want to start doing here with these videos in the channel is to, when I'm going to review a camp spot or a holiday park, which is the case today, I want to, at the beginning of the video, say, look, this is what this camp spot or holiday park is for. Is it more suitable for families or for groups or for solo campers? And I'm going to suggest that sort of at the beginning of the video and then I'm going to show you why during the video. And I'm going to start doing that right now. I'm going to do that today. So my understanding is that the holiday heaven is for everyone. And before you say, well, I'm just making my job easy. This is for everyone. You're not really giving any specifics. It is for everyone. And I'm going to show you why. For everyone except one type of camper. If you want silence, if you want to be in nature, if you want to, you know, have your own campfire and just relax in the camp spot, a holiday park essentially is not for you. A holiday park is always going to be busier than a camping spot. And before I take you on a little tour inside the holiday park, which you're gonna go on with me in just a second, let me tell you, in my opinion, why I believe that the Bandalong Holiday Heaven is for everyone. So this is a place that if you have kids, this would be perfect for you. The whole structure is kind of set up for families and, and kids because you've got playground, you've got a big giant air pillow that the kids can jump on. When you look at the camp kitchen and the barbecue, some of them are set up right in front of the playground so you can even watch your kids as they're playing and you cook dinner. You have a lot of kids running around on bikes, scooters, kicking the ball. People normally drive very slowly. There's, a, I think, an eight kilometer limit inside the park and people tend to, to respect that. So if you have kids, you want to bring your kids down to this holiday park for sure. Also, if you have a big group and you want to bring your friends down here, no problems, no issues at all. They've got cabins that can sleep from four up to 10 people and some of them they even have the balcony facing the trees so you can have a bit of privacy as well and you know throw your party oh yeah and if you're a surfer if you bring your board and you want to go for a surf in the morning you can literally walk from your tent down to the beach in kind of around five minutes so if the surf is a bit messy and big you can come down to this beach and you can just go for a swim and honestly from your tent, from where I'm camping, down here is less than two minutes walking. So essentially you have access to two different beaches in the same spot, from the same holiday park. You have on one side Bandalong Point, which is where I'm at right now, and on the other side where you can surf. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of the other beach because number one, I think I kind of forgot, and number two, it's I'm pretty sure I was going to say it wrong anyway. So, and another thing that's pretty nice, if you if you have your kids with you, and you bring them down to the beach, they get tired of playing in the water, they just want to do something else. You have a playground right here at the beach, and also if you get down to the beach from your tent and you are away from the facilities in the campground, you want to go to the bathroom. They also have bathrooms at the beach. And I could not forget to mention, of course, the stingrays. Bandalong is super famous for the stingrays. They come super close to shore. There are plenty of them, a lot of them swimming around. You can touch them. They come super close and pretty much touch your legs as they swim around. And it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, they're not around. They're not really around today. Or even yesterday, I was surfing yesterday and I couldn't see any of them. The water is pretty murky. There's a lot of seaweed on the beach as well. But uh, I've got some clips from our last trip down here to Bendalong when I was here with my family. 
and so I can share them with you right now. Check this out. They're cool, aren't they? They're pretty cool. My young boy Ollie loves them. So I'm heading back. I think I've walked a long distance. So let me show you a little bit more of the Bendalong Holiday Park. But instead of me talking to the camera, remember I talked to you about a little tour I was gonna take you on. So let's go on a tour around the Bendalong Holiday Park. So you might be wondering why we are starting the tour from the outside of the park. This is the street that gives you access to the park and I just wanted to show you a few things that you have available here. So very convenient, you've got a service station available maybe, I don't know, 200 meters away from the gate, which is pretty convenient if you want to live in the morning, need to get some petrol, you have a service station right there available to you. So a few meters down the road, you've got something that was very unusual for us to find. So you've got a wood fire pizza and you can come up here and order your pizza and then pick it up. A little advice here, it took us three hours to get our pizza. <laughs> First time we tried, so come early. And also around the corner, turning right, if you're coming from the holiday park, you've got a little coffee shop. You can also grab your takeaway coffee in the morning. So there's not much to see here, so I'm just going to speed up a little bit so we can get down the road. And as you get to this point, this is the entrance for the holiday park over here on the right hand side. If you have people coming up just to hang out with you for the day, they can just park in there and get access to the beach. Uh, getting into the park, you are going to need a code that they're going to give to you once you get your booking confirmation. Over here on the left hand side, we've got the facilities bathroom and showers and as you look on the right hand side we've got pretty much just cabins in this first section of the holiday park if you're coming in for a swim just turn right here you have beach access down the road and speeding up now just to catch up to the ice cream van that's just showing up up there in the distance with two kids already attacking it comes in every day during school holidays and it's pretty nice to have it available to the kids over here on the right hand side, every kid's favorite, the splash pad, which is pretty cool. The facilities here now on the right hand side are the biggest ones. They've got like a bunch of showers and bathrooms. And over here I'll just need to pause for a second because we've got a lot of things available to you. The playground, the jumping pillow, the camp kitchen with refrigerators and freezers available. The barbecues, the food trucks that come in pretty much every day during school holidays as well. And you're going to get a text message to let you know what's going on and what's around. And also the coffee cart that it's there every morning for your takeaway coffee. So more cabins here on the right hand side and speeding up a little bit. And when we get to this point, we've got a bit of a mix scenario where you've got trailers, camper vans and vans and also tents. They're all marked powered sites in that area and facilities again here on the left hand side showers and bathrooms available to you as we get through this gate all you see here on the right hand side it's the unmarked camping area so you can pretty much show up and just set up your tent anywhere I wouldn't necessarily recommend this area we had to camp here once and you could barely find any grass that was very uneven and kind of not comfortable so I would definitely recommend getting one of the marked sites and as we get through here uh, yeah I'm gonna be able to show you what I consider the highlight of the park the Bendalong Point access which is pretty pretty convenient I mean especially for camping where these people are camping here you just literally wake up in the morning and a 30 second walk you are in the water going for a nice fresh swim in the morning so on the left hand side here, I would consider this area the best area in the park because we're really close to the ocean, you're close to the Bend Along Point access as well. And as you can see, the majority of this area has fresh grass and it's pretty nice. 
as we get down here on this street we're actually gonna get back through on the left here on the same street that we came in and I just want to take a few seconds to show you the cabins here on the right hand side as I turn right on the street so basically if you look in the distance here you're gonna see all these cabins and they don't have the balcony facing the road so the balcony and the main entrance is facing the trees so that's nice if you want a bit more privacy and silence in the morning especially as well that's a good option for you and as we keep getting down this street I'm actually gonna show you the camp spot that I was camping at which is called premium campsite but to be honest with you I would not consider that camp spot premium and I'm gonna show you actually why in a few seconds but just before I do that I want to show you the bend along point access over there in the distance this is just another walkway that you can take down to the beach and now let me show you why I wouldn't consider this a premium camp spot especially because of this as I'm reversing back it was all nice and grassy but then you have a lot of mud which I understand it can be difficult to keep the grass healthy with a lot of cars driving in and out but they could have maybe a concrete slab or something like that or even fake grass for example which they have in different sites and I'm, I'm gonna show you in a minute so yeah this is the not so premium camp spot I was staying at You've got a tap, you've got water available and accessible in the site, also the power outlets available to you. And these sites, they're also premium. And as you can see, they do have the fake grass on them, which is way better. So from number 85 to number 88 are the ones that I would recommend to you if you're planning to stay in a powered premium campsite. And the winner, the one that I would recommend is number 85 for sure. You've got the fake grass, you don't have anyone on your right hand side, you have a bit more privacy. And you're also super close to the walkway that takes you down to the Bendelong Point. And just behind these trees, you've got the ocean. So what did you think? So as I said before, the Bendelong Holiday Park is really for everyone. Families, big groups, solo campers, surfers. You're gonna have a lot of fun if you come down here and if you do decide to come down here don't forget to check the descriptions in the video below so you're gonna find more information about the holiday park you're gonna find a few links for you to book your stay if you want you're gonna find a link for the map of the campground as well so i'm out of here i'm gonna head back to the van make myself some breakfast because i am starving ready for another coffee and some pancakes because I am ready what a piece of rubbish I know I bought this all this fancy equipment to make some really good coffee I used to be a barista in case you want to know and I know how to make pretty good latte art but I'm still trying to get a hang of this milk frother and everything else the espresso mini machine thingy is working well but the milk is just not working I'll keep trying and um, hopefully at some stage I'm gonna succeed. But um, let me see. It doesn't taste bad at all, it tastes good. Let's see if we can succeed with the pancakes. Paying attention to the fire here. You don't wanna burn the pancakes. And if you want the, the recipe for my pancakes, let me know on the comments below. Pretty easy to make, especially when you get to the camp spot. Look at this guy. Let's flip this bad boy over. I know, right? The pancakes at least look way better than the coffee. And they taste really good. And I understand if you think that putting peanut butter on your pancakes is weird but I love it peanut butter some berries maple syrup that's all I need well it's been fun hanging out with you guys this morning I'm gonna pack up 
and it's time to go home. Gotta head back to good old Sydney. So we're ready to hit the road. Look who's showing up just as we are about to leave, our friend's son. But it's okay. I'm gonna use the lack of sun as an excuse to come back here again to the Bandalong Holiday Park. It was a really fun weekend. If you made this far into the video, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. I'm gonna hit the road, get back to Sydney, and until next time, get outside.